Welcome to another broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, listen, we're going to go right to our sources. There's a lot to unpack. I'm going to go ahead and present my screen to you. Salute to everybody joining. Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Um, listen, ladies and gentlemen, um, these witches need to be stopped. In this particular broadcast, we're going to be talking about sex magic as well as the indoctrination of witchcraft and how it has became so widespread and how you got these older witches recruiting, teaching, and pretty much grooming younger women to become witches as well. We got to get into this because a lot of you fellas, y'all need to be careful out here because it's getting real foul in these streets. You hear me? Peep this, y'all. This is why you should not make cinnamon rolls or any baked goods out of your yeast infection. I just want to do some damage control because I know I came on here and said I made cinnamon rolls out of my yeast infection and they turned out really good. And they did, they tasted really good, but we consumed them. And two days later, these white spots start popping up, popping up on mine and my husband's tongue. And I'm Googling what that means. And it says it's oral thrush, which is essentially a yeast infection for your mouth. And the reason we have it is because we consumed my yeast infection. So what I thought was a very special Valentine's gift, uh, truly a pastry made with love from things that came from my body. Ladies and gentlemen. What the hell? Oh my God, no way. <sighs> Where do we begin with this? Well, let me just put this out here. Ladies, you should never be normalizing even getting a yeast infection. Did you hear what I just said? That's not a normal, that's not natural for you to just be getting yeast infections. I know somehow down the line it has become normalized i don't know what these obgyns are telling you i don't know i don't know why y'all think that's just a part of life that you supposed to be getting yeast bubbling down there it's not supposed to be happening that is in fact the key word in is infection the key word is infection that means something you putting in ain't ain't reacting quite right with your body. That means the pH is off. Now, whew, wow. That's just one part to just start off on, right? Secondly, it seems that sex magic has now evolved, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we all know about the blood and the spaghetti. Um, everybody knows about that at this current time. And if you don't know, that's where women take their... Um, their period blood um, and pretty much add it to the, you know, their so-called significant others, you know, plate. And um, it, it's, it's, it's real nasty work. And that man consumes that said blood, believing that it's spaghetti sauce. And ultimately that man ends up falling head over heels, madly in love, popping up at the woman's crib, you know, with a trench coat and a shower cap, he can't get right. Um, and this is normal. I mean, this is something that a lot of women practice nowadays. Uh, you know, some of these women do this to try to land them a husband because they tired of being in them streets. So they say they're going to lock this man in by having that man consume, you know, bodily fluids pretty much. And, um, Yo, this right here is beyond disgusting, but this is sex magic. She gave her yeast infection. She made Cinnabons with her yeast infection and gave it to a husband, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is this real, this real nasty work right here, but this is why the Bible says, I suffer not a witch to live. See, you got to understand a, a witch is a diabolical, insidious, demonic, nasty mother. I don't think you understand that. Witches are nasty people, no matter how they look on the exterior. These women are nasty. 
Do you understand? They're demonic. They're entertaining archons and shadow beings. They're entertaining demons. And this is why during the Salem witch trials, you know, these witches had to be burnt at the stake because they're a danger to a community. Now, of course, we can't just take law into our own hands. Nowadays, we have rules and laws put in place. But if you're an individual who <laughs> wants to stay pure out here, you need to be careful. Anyway, let's hear what she got to say, y'all. Listen to this, this madness here. Turned out to be the president of Oral Thrush. And it's not fun having it. It's not the most comfortable thing to live with. It's kind of painful. And I just feel so, so bad for... Did she feed it to the children is what I want to know. I believe this woman needs to be arrested. These witches need to be taken off the streets. Mind you, this is an individual who has a following. There's women following this particular woman here. And now she has oil thrush. Um, she has yeast all over her tongue. Her husband has it. I hear a baby in the background coughing. Did y'all hear the baby coughing in the background? Um, let's go back. Let me just listen here. President of oral thrush and it's not fun having it. It's not the most comfortable thing to live with. It's kind of painful and I just feel so, so bad. Do you hear the child in the background gagging? Do you hear the child coughing, gagging in the background? Now this is beyond sick, but let's go. For giving it to my husband, and I'm thinking I need to make it up to him in some way. Now I would can I would make a pastry out of my breast milk again, but the the yeast is just not worth it. Just go buy yeast from the grocery store. And if you want to, you can just lie and say it is your yeast infection that's in it, but um, it's definitely not worth it. Anyway, I just wanted to come on. Now, mind you, this is a Thanksgiving Day ritual. I mean, not Thanksgiving Day. Pardon me. <laughs> I said Thanksgiving. This is a Valentine's Day ritual that these witches are doing. Because as I told you all before, Valentine's Day is a pagan festival day. It was a day of debauchery, filth, chaos, orgies, sin, you know, perversion. And, you know, it's Babylonian. You know, the Jesuits and um, the, the Roman Catholics and all of the, the blood drinkers and barbarians, Vikings. Yeah, we're talking about Lupra, Lupercia. We talking about they were they were doing this on Valentine's Day. They were doing these weird things on Valentine's Day. That's why I don't celebrate no pagan holidays. And all the truth gonna come out about these wicked festival days that they have out here. Now, her husband, somebody say, I hope her husband sees this video. I sure hope so too, because you dealing with a sick woman, a sick, sick woman, bro. And you know, I will be surprised. Even if he hears this video, I will be surprised if that man can actually turn this around at this point. It may be it for it may be it for homeboy. Yeah, this this is crazy. She definitely need a padded room for this. This is this is sick. What made you take an infection out of your body and consume it and then feed it to others? Like what 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 Satan literally is trying to kill y'all. See, demons don't care who soul they snatch out. Nasty work here. This is nasty work here, man. I'm here because I felt obligated to do that damage control because I know a lot of you look up to me and are influenced by me and we're thinking... A lot of people look up to her and are influenced by her. She has a large following, y'all. And she has to go do damage control because she was teaching her following. She was teaching her following to go put their yeast infection as if, I mean, around Valentine's Day... Were y'all purposely getting yeast infections? Like, what the hell was going on here? Was y'all purposely wearing dirty drawers? Or was y'all purposely not washing or eating the wrong foods? Or what, what were y'all doing? You telling me that's what the witches were doing? In her, in her particular coven? Her online coven? And now she got to get on here and do damage control. Oh man, this is sick stuff here. Thinking about trying that just because I did, but don't do it. I made cinnamon rolls out of my yeast infection, and I have to say, they turned out pretty damn good. 
these are actually what I gave my husband for Valentine's Day. It's cinnamon rolls made from not only the yeast for my yeast infection, but also my breast milk. So it's like really natural. Um, and when he tried it, he noticed immediately that it tasted a little different than they He noticed immediately it tasted a little different. <laughs> now, fellas, can you imagine you just chilling, you cooling in your home and your wife comes to you with a nice sweet treat, such as Cinnabons. Hey, you've been cutting all week. You've been working out. You like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to a Cinnabon. As soon as you taste it, you like, you know what? This is a little bit tart right here. It's a little bit something different about this, man. Could you, fellas, could you imagine? And your wife responds and lets you know that she got hurt, you know, hey, baby, I just happen to have a yeast infection. And that's why these cinnamon rolls taste, taste different. What the hell? Oh, my God. No way. Because she's been following one of these witches on social media. And she thought in her mind that that was a, a, a normal thing to do. They normally do when I make him cinnamon rolls and he was like what do you do differently so he like yo something actually that's cold for like something is wrong with these cinnabons yo what, what what's wrong with this I, i'm tasting this and it's something something ain't right is the milk spoiled are these cinnabons old are these pillsbury what what kind of cinnamon rolls is these it's probably how he where he responded It's really good. And I said, actually, it was my yeast infection and breast milk, you know? He probably did not even believe that, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> he probably thought she was, was was joking. Actually, it's my it was my yeast infection. Now, what man in his right mind is going to eat that? Unless he thought it was a game. Like a dog, girl, you crazy, man. Stop playing with me like that. Yeah, don't play with me like that. You got to be, you got to be kidding. Somebody shared Job 20 and 12. Great filibuster. Job 20 and 12. It says, through evil is sweet in his mouth. Oh, man. All pun intended, bro. Oh, man. Why you share that? Through evil is sweet in his mouth and he hides it under his tongue. Though he cannot bear to let it go and let it linger in his mouth. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Maybe the witches then tore that scripture out of the Bible and, and, and did this whole ritual based on that. Because I can assure you that this type of magic, this type of sex magic right here that man has to have some type of grasp on him and it got to be some kind of cobra clutch on this brother the serpent must really have his clutches on homie man let's go um one thing i will say is they taste like almost like sourdough no nah. no nah, bro no nah. Nah. Nah, she didn't just say they taste like sourdough. Nah. Nah, somebody said it. Shorty, you shorty's out of pocket. Shorty. Hell nah. Wow. Like they're a little more sour than like a normal cinnamon roll would be. And I think that's due to it being like yeast from my body, but overall. You not, ladies, you are not supposed to be baking biscuits down there. That's a curse. It, you ain't, your vagina is not supposed to be equivalent to an oven, ma'am. To a bake shop. You, you're not supposed, listen. For all the ladies who went to this witchcraft and magic and spells, 
your vagina is not equi equivalent to um or not equipped to be making bacon goods you're not supposed to be making bacon goods out of your vagina this is so far from normal do you understand lord have mercy and you know what's causing a lot of this stuff and i and you know what and i'm gonna say this i'm gonna put this out here because if you ladies are dealing with um witchcraft well if you're dealing with pardon me if you're dealing with uh yeast infections and you having these type of issues it could be something medically wrong that some type of procedure that you had done um from doctors that caused that or it's causing that or it can also be um it can also be you doing these yoni steams y'all doing these damn yoni steams and wearing these real tight pants all the time not letting stuff breathe and the soaps that you using having all these chemicals in them you need to be washing with the, the clean soaps the all natural soaps because what happens is your ph balance is getting knocked off because you're putting too much you're putting too much um you know chemicals in there and it's throwing the ph balance off you know it's real simple these are things that your mother should have been teaching you. but instead a lot of your mothers ain't teaching you it wasn't teaching you a damn thing and this is why so many ladies is running down there to go get yoni steams sitting there steaming their vaginas sitting over a pot actually boiling and steaming with different herbs and spices there ain't no way listen ain't nowhere in the scriptures tell you to go do that if you look up the word yoni yoni is a goddess an ancient goddess a hindu goddess and also back in 2020 there were class action lawsuits all over the place for deceptive marketing when it came to all the products that they were selling all kind of deceptive marketing uh class action lawsuits was being put out there i'm telling you and everybody need to pound the like button on the video listen you get some of the most raw real you know enlightening content over here but they don't give brother credit where credit is due on these platforms we're putting in that real content bringing things to the forefront and really educating really educating you on things that'll help you in your everyday life these are this is real talk i'm giving you I mean, you may have an issue with me or my delivery. You may have a problem with me, but I'm not going to tell you what these witches is telling you. These witches telling you to sit your ass on a pot, boil and steam. And I'm telling you to use natural soaps and eat the right foods as well. And you don't have to worry about none of that stuff y'all be going through. None of it. And I'm telling you this because I know what I'm talking about. Now, the scriptures go on to tell us, and this is a very important scripture because you ladies need to know why this, why you have these issues. Isaiah 3 and 24 says, and it shall come to pass that instead of a sweet smell, there shall be stink. What, where this is coming from or where that's coming from. Now, women go through changes in their body. It is what it is. And I'm not one to sit up there and sit up, sit up there and tell you. I know everything about a woman's body, but I can give you the basics that you yoni steaming ain't making no difference. You eating the wrong foods and wearing yoga pants every single day. You know what I'm saying? That that can be causing these things. And you know how I know? Because it's common sense. That's how I know. And if you don't believe me, if you having these type of issues, then give it a try. Put me to the test on the advice that I'm giving. Now, this stuff is very real, man. This stuff is very real because there's a whole indoctrination going on with witchcraft. Um, I got some sources I want to share with you, and this is just the real deal. Here we go. Hey, it's going to be a lot of people that's not going to want me to tell y'all, you know, that I'm getting ready to tell y'all now. Men, you need to watch who you fucking with. I'm in a whole lot of witch, oracle, empress, black women coming into the craft type group. It is hundreds, I have seen hundreds of pictures of you dudes. Do you understand me? That these women is putting inside of these groups 
and on full moons and on new moons, they straight up casting full flat out spells on y'all because y'all out here being dirty. Look, black man, tell that woman if you fucking around with somebody else. Like they straight up fucking y'all lives up and y'all think it's some invisible God out here making you have car accidents, making you be uh, being stuck to a woman and you can't never let her go and you can't never get away from her because she didn't put blood in your motherfucking food. She got your picture in the middle of a group with hundreds of other little young ass witches that ain't got no guidance, that ain't got no type of structure and discipline over them and they just cast it. Hey, listen, you know, even the woman that said that people are not going to like her for putting this out there. She a witch, too. Why is she why is she in all these witch groups? Listen, most of them are witches. Most of the modern women you see running around here, they witches straight up. How do I know this? Because they're rebellious. Rebellion is equivalent to witchcraft. First Samuel 15 and 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as an iniquity and idolatry. Because thou has rejected the word of the Lord, he have also rejected thee. So because a lot of these women are rebellious and stubborn, by process of elimination, they're going to fall into the category of being witches. Do you understand? But what she said was very interesting. And for the lady who said men cast spells too, do me a favor and put that woman on timeout. Put her put her on timeout. You you sure have picked the right channel to come over here with that. Put her on timeout. I'll let the moderator choose how long did you want her on timeout if I have a manage manager moderator in the building. But as I was saying, the lady put out there that some of you brothers' pictures are in these actual forms, that these women are coming together collectively on platforms. There's all type of witch groups. It'll be mom apps. I mean, they, these people are saturating the entire market on the internet. It'll be mom apps. It'll be just re real regular social apps, TikTok. It'll be like, you know, just ones you don't even know about. I don't know about all the little apps they got, but bet your bottom dollar a lot of these witches are hanging out on there and they got pictures of some of you brothers. See, what you what you men got to understand is when men of the Lord, when men of the Most High are in alignment, everything changes. When we are in alignment, meaning we're honoring the law, statutes, and commandments, we're walking upright, we're moving accordingly, we're doing what needs to be done. We're handling our responsibilities. We're correcting everywhere we go. We're making places better. The witches have to actually come together. They have to come together in these covens and these different groups. And they got pictures of us. They got pictures of us. I done been on YouTube a, a couple of times, scrolling through, seeing my name and mentions. And, and women are doing tarot cards talking about me. Sitting there with tarot cards talking about me. Why? Because I'm a man of the Lord. I'm an enemy to what they're trying to do. And this is how these women get down. Some of you brothers out there, y'all carrying a certain light with y'all. And, and you know, hey, you may be a brother that's on your purpose. And these women are trying to see what they can extract from you. How they can derail you. How they can get blessings from Satan for being a stumbling block in your life. And this is why you just can't be getting with any type of woman out here. You got to be on point. The book of Proverbs tells you time and time again to be weary of the wicked woman. Somebody said them females bored. Hey, they more than bored. They're idle. And they're destructive. 
and they have too much liberty and they have too much time on their hands to, to, to sow discord and create mischief. And that's what they online doing. And it's a, and this is very popular. Now the scriptures go on to tell us and see witchcraft ain't no joke. The scripts is going to tell us in 2 Chronicles 33 and 6. And he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnon. Also, he observed times and used enchantments and used witchcraft and dealt with familiar spirits and with wizards. He wrought much evil in the sight of the Lord to predict, to provoke him to anger. So now we're going to talk about men doing this too. We, I don't need when I'm talking about witches and women, I don't need no woman coming up in my chat saying, you know, men do it too. men do it too. allow the teacher to teach. Because when you do things like that, when you say things like that, it's almost like you're deflecting. Like it's something that you doing, but you don't want attention on you. You want it to be known that men practice witchcraft and sorcery and incantations and divination, too. We know that. We're not talking about. Now we're talking about the men. You ladies as well got to look out for those men. These guys who claim to be players and pimps, they're wizards, witches, warlocks. But it, it just so happens there's a lot more women who gravitate towards that particular lifestyle than men. Because there is a process of, um, of recruiting of um recruiting pardon me there's a recruiting process that goes on and we're going to talk about how these women are being recruited out here and i'm gonna give y'all ladies some signs to look out for so you don't end up being recruited into witchcraft leviticus 19 and 31 regard not them that have familiar spirits neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them i am the lord your god exactly somebody said there's some dr strange witches out here you ain't lying bro they they real weird with it i'm talking about they burying some of you brothers drawers in the backyard these women got shrines of you in their homes these women are taking artifacts of clothing taking taking beard hair taking your hair out out combs and brushes yo you got to be careful out here and they really love astrology they really deep into the astrology and this is a sign you ladies got to look out for it too. Listen, that when women are coming at you talking about sign, what sign you are, that's an automatic red flag. That's an automatic red flag. You also got to look out for women who are really in the herbs. I know, new breed, I thought herbs was healthy. I thought, you know, herbal treatments is the way to go. I thought that was the medicine. You know, fruit yielding seed, veggies yielding seed. Yeah, absolutely. But you got to understand a lot of women who practice witchcraft hide in herbology. Why? Because the fallen angels taught different roots, spells, magic using various herbs and roots. And they're really into these things. So that's something you ladies got to look out for. Yeah, exactly. Raina said it. Organic has a new meaning, y'all. There's women who are just vegetarians that hide in veganism and vegetarianism and they be witches. So you got to be careful of these things. And ladies, you got to also be careful who you be letting up in your houses. Who you allowing to meet your family. Um, who you allowing around your children. You ladies can't let every woman do your hair. See, it gets deep, y'all. The way these spells are, are put out there, this is why you ladies need a, a covering. You need a husband to protect you. Because these, these you're just genuinely looking for friendship. And you think you're just dealing with a nice sister who just cool. She seemed to be level-headed. She seemed to be happy. But that woman could be a full-blown witch. And make no mistake about it. While that woman is doing your hair, you sitting at the salon, y'all talking, you don't even know she into all kind of stuff. And when she touching your hair, there's a transferal of spirits that happens. These things happen. 
a lot of these hairdressers they be into it. And witches love for you to ask them advice on things because that gives them a point of entry. When you go to a witch asking for advice, she just now gained access into your life. And now whatever spell that she's working behind the dark, it, it has root now. And she now all of a sudden you getting in car accidents. Same thing with you brothers. You lay up with one of these harlots. You lay up with one of these nasty women who who into all of this poisoning and and all of these incantations and divination. Now all of a sudden you brothers is losing your gig. You just got this streak of bad luck. You getting nightmares. You getting sleep paralysis. You can't sleep at all some nights. You got this woman on your mind 24 seven, can't figure out why, you don't know if you coming or going. If she ain't around, you just feel depressed. That ain't how you supposed to feel with nobody. Yo, I'm telling you, these witches need to be stopped, bro. Feminism is equivalent to witchcraft. Why? Because that's a rebellion against the man. That's a rebellion against God. We just read the scriptures. Rebelliousness is, is of witchcraft. It's synonymous. So when these women practice feminism, they witches too. When they tell when these ladies is trying to tell you how to be empowered, witches. And sex magic is so many variables to it. Sex magic is how you ladies be dressing online. That's sex magic. Why are you causing, you're causing men to stumble? Now, of course, men are supposed to have discipline over themselves. And to be quite frank with you, y'all women, a lot of ladies out there show their body online so much, real men not even impressed no more. It's not even exciting. Y'all just naked all the time. But it's used to get the attention of men, especially the young men. And, and you got these young men who are releasing energy to these women, releasing life force to these women. That's witchcraft, because in the spiritual realm, something is getting gratification off of men going through these rituals and worshiping these women. <coughs> Peep this, y'all. Hey, it's gonna be a lot of people that's not gonna want me to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? That I'm getting ready to tell y'all now. Men, you need to watch who you fucking with. I'm in a whole lot of witch, oracle, empress, black women coming into the craft type group. It is hundreds, I have seen hundreds of pictures of you dudes. Do you understand me? That these women is putting inside of these groups and on full moons and on new moons, they straight up casting full flat out spells on y'all because y'all out here being dirty. Look, black man, tell that woman if you fucking around with somebody else. Like they straight up fucking y'all lives up and y'all think it's some invisible God out here making you have car accidents, making you be uh, being stuck to a woman and you can't never let her go and you can't never get away from her because she didn't put blood in your motherfucking food. She got your picture in the middle of a group with hundreds of other little young ass witches that ain't got no guidance, that ain't got no type of structure and discipline over them and they just cast it. And notice how that woman said, these young women don't have no kind of guidance. They don't have no kind of guidance. That woman is a witch. Because how, why would she say that? Why would she be in those groups? And she's, she's not against them being witches. She's against the fact that these young ladies are just going rogue. Now I want to talk a little bit about the recruitment process. I got another source I want to go to. And I want everybody to get the likes up on the video. I wanted to bring this out. Erica Alexander. She used to play in Living Single. She was recently on The Breakfast Club. Fair use. Federal law allows citizens to redistribute portions, small portions of copywritten material for the purposes of teaching edification. Um, this will be transformative in nature. I'm adding my commentary. Um, she shared her upbringing. And I want to talk about how these witches are being recruited in 
churches yes churches religious institutions mainly the christian church but let's talk about it who plays maxine on living single tells charlemagne that her grandmother was a witch now both your parents were orphans how did how did they meet uh well you know as orphans do in church okay um you know they're both their godfather or i should say like their godfather was the uh evangelist in town he was the bishop his name was bishop wc griffin and he became the bishop of that northwest half of america bishop blake in uh, uh la took over for him i mean in a way i'm from church royalty if you look at it that way i mean he was a really heavy dude but then they were just in the dust uh, bowl of new mexico and now she comes from church royalty but nonetheless a lot of her more prominent family members are dibbling and dabbling in the craft and a lot of mega pastors a lot of so-called first ladies a lot of these women preachers and pastors which they ain't even supposed to be a thing a lot of them are witches and um a lot of them they hide in christianity there's yo there's churches just full of witches y'all full of them Let's go. And it was a very Southern Gothic existence. My mother, my grandmother was a witch. Uh, she she said it was a Southern Gothic existence. A lot of the Southern Baptist churches are witchcraft. When you see um, all this speaking in tongues and jibber jabber and all of this nonsense, ladies and gentlemen, that's voodoo language. That's hoodoo, juju. You understand? That's not what you hearing coming out of these people's mouth and they I should have bought a Honda. Listen, when you go into places of Africa, they're doing the same thing as voodoo and juju. It's no difference. On the day of Pentecost in the Bible, there were actual languages being spoken when we talk about speaking in tongues. Actual languages. And every man understood. And also it tells you that if anybody's speaking in an unknown uh, unknown tongue within the church there should be a translator or two meaning there should be somebody to go ahead and say what was said it's not supposed to be just people running around just talking crazy it has to be an interpreter right but um let, let's continue but in these churches man there's a lot of witchcraft there's a lot of witches there let's go Ooh. died in witchcraft hmm. um the father um started to preach and was ordained since he was six years of age uh they said he was a special child that he literally would sit on a porch and people would come up and before he could even walk he would stand up do scripture and then go back to playing wow my father who was prone to exaggeration and as to say straight up lying would say some of these stories but my mother who was not said no erica it's very true oh, wow. they went around in a car and they would go on reservations or wherever they were called living people's garages and he was a healer they would bring him in and what would happen there would be a few people in the audience at first now notice she said he was a healer listen witches can heal wizards warlocks can heal it's called exercising demons now that doesn't mean that they're actually casting those demons out do you hear what i said a witch can exercise and communicate with demons they can make agreements with demons so can wizards it does not mean that they're actually casting it out it's called divination they can communicate with these malevolent forces but just because you see somebody who appears to be casting a demon out that don't mean that person is of the most high i said because you see somebody casting an unclean spirit out of somebody does not mean that that is a person who's for the most high yep you gotta see the movie skeleton key this is a fact y'all I'm telling you, they can tell the demon to lie dormant for a time period. They can say, hey, listen, I want to perform a magic trick in front of these people to that demon. They're speaking in an unknown tongue. You don't know what they're talking about. And they can just be performing magic tricks 
and people all in the audience, all in the crowd thinking that the Holy Ghost and that the Most High is working in that person. Let's go. Pitch a tent and then he would pray, do something, and then everybody would heal. Everybody would hear about a person who was healed who they knew their whole life had some ailment or mm. sickness. Wow. And then the next night, there would be tons of people overflowing, Indian, Mexican, uh, white, black, to see this young healer. That was my dad. And that's crazy because your it's dad got, he got, a, got <laughs> sick at early, 35. Right. Wow. Sick Nobody could heal him? You know. <laughs> you hear that? So he did all that healing. He performed all those miracles, but he was sick. And he couldn't be healed at a very young age. That that's that's quite interesting to say the least. Let's go. What's funny? He he died. He, they gave him a church in East Um, mm. and uh, he, before he died, I made some peace with him because he wasn't the kindest person. And uh, he said he wished that um, that God had healed him, and he always wondered why. Sorry. And I wanted to. I always um. You said so much that I wanted that. Like, first of all, your aunt, your oh aunt being a witch. Yeah, <laughs> my 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 uh, grandmother. Grandmother, grandmother yeah, his, his mother was a witch. And she you would said go she down died and get from witchcraft. Well, she would go. Listen, she. Had now I'm glad that she's bringing out that the grandmother died of witchcraft. Because listen, a lot of y'all ladies, y'all think a lot of this stuff is innocent. Um, you think it's cool to check your daily horoscope all the time you think it's cool to call psychics go get readings and play with crystals and you think it's cool to play with ouija boards and and do different spells you just think it's all fun and games but i'm telling you when things start going bump in the night when you know them demons come to collect and they start aiming at your soul when when things get real when they get real you gonna know it ain't for play play when Satan come to snatch your soul up out your body in the middle of the night. One minute you sleep, the next minute you fall. One minute you sleep, the next minute it's it's ten foot demons standing beside your bed like, hey, you you've been playing with um you've been playing with these crystals. Now you know you gonna do our bidding or it's up for you. It's all part of the deception, making it seem so acceptable and normal. You have no idea how many people out, out of the years that I've been speaking on witchcraft and exposing these things. You have no idea how many people have came to me privately. Ladies who could not stand my material at one point who had came to me privately like, yo, you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to lie. Just watching your video, things was moving around in my house. Because whatever you were saying in that video whatever was going on in here something didn't like it something didn't like what you were saying i was watching your video and and i was scared i didn't know what to do what can i do because i'm telling you man this stuff is real man that is not the black experience lady it, ladies being being a witch i know that this african spiritualism and these diviners and things that taught y'all that this is the black experience that with you know witchcraft is good there's good witches and bad witches that's a lie from hell there's no such thing as no good witch the lord said i suffer not a witch to live do you understand let's go we had a restaurant you know black people we do so many things catering and all that so back in the day you really didn't have a life job you would do things and she had a um a little cafe, you know. Somebody says something real key in the chat. We're going to go back to the video in a moment. Anton says, ladies night is another red flag. Because I, I got to tell y'all ladies about the recruitment process. That is key right there. Yep. Yep. that is key right there ladies night let me let me let me explain something to y'all and a lot of these ladies nights you got to think about what's the purpose of that what's the purpose of the ladies night 
What is the purpose of it? Let me see. Somebody loved by the most high. I was coughing like 20 minutes ago. So you obviously are not watching the stream at the right time. So for that, since you didn't watch New Breeze rules and regulations, you just earned yourself um, a spot on, on the ban list. When you're watching my material, you make sure that you up to speed and you're not 20 minutes before you watching the playback and you commenting as if you watching it live. You see how you just did that to yourself? Cause you didn't watch the video when I gave my rules and regulations clearly. And Bella Ring says something very key as well. Stay away from these fraternities. A lot of that is witchcraft. <clears throat> Let's continue. Hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. And she would put dust over the door. So when people came in, the bell would ring Dude. and dust would fall, fall on it. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. So her, you see, women are doing that now, especially in this economy and they're trying to start businesses. They got all kind of dust and all kind of little chemicals and all of this stuff in their their business area to try to become more fruitful. They called it goofer dust. Well, right across the street was her competitor and they would have goofer dust too. So she would go back and forth to down deep south, south like, you know, South New Orleans, Carolina, all that. Yeah, New deep Orleans, yeah, where yeah. you from, you know, and go get stronger and stronger. Um, Mm -hmm. Well, one time she came back and she, by the way, she would just leave my father. So he'd just be on the streets. One time she came back and a uh, Mexican family took him in and he didn't even remember English. And they had, they begged her to let him stay. Did Roberto stay, please, Roberto. They called him Roberto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he, they, she took him. Um, but uh, she came back and they said she was all twisted up with her head in between her legs, barking like a dog. She was all, she came back all twisted up with her leg between her heads, barking like a dog. And y'all don't think that's real? Y'all ladies keep playing with this stuff. Some of them women y'all think is fine, beautiful. Y'all gonna be twisted, chopped and screwed, contorted, bone ligaments gonna be all tied up like a damn pretzel because you playing with them damn demons. Real talk. This is wild. Wow. Ooh, and, that voodoo, that root boy. That, I'm telling you, yeah. you coughing up frogs. And they said that the women in the church went to go get my eventual godfather, which was William Griffith. Now, all this was going on within the church setting. All of this is going on in churches now, y'all. It's all going on in the churches now. And see, it's easy to recruit a lot of y'all women in these churches because you're in a place where you're being love bombed. You're in a place where you feel accepted. You feel like people really are endeared towards you. You feel like people care about you. And you um, a lot of you ladies are almost afraid to get out of some of these churches because you feel like that's where your family is at. And really, you are part of a whole coven and don't even realize it. You in a cult. You are literally in an occult circle. It's a exactly like these churches, these modern day churches are breeding grounds for witches. I'm telling you. And he came, saw it. He left three days. He, uh, they they uh, fast and they pray. And then they come back and then they laid hands on her and they got her through it. And she, this is the story now. Wow. Our... And then listen. <clears throat> and fellas, you got to be careful with your seed, man. You got to be careful with women you dealing with because you mess around and these women be teaching your daughters the craft. Be teaching your daughters the ways of the, the dark arts. And imagine you deal with a woman, you don't even know she into that stuff because you ain't asked the right questions. You haven't tested her spirit. Now you got to break those demonic strongholds on your children. 
now behind your back she teach you know this woman teaching your daughters the the you know the different arts and your daughters is into that stuff on the low and and listen they're so crafty with it let me tell you they're so crafty with it the, the mothers will teach the daughters how to hide this stuff from the fathers the daughters will be hiding the witchcraft from the fathers don't when you get around your daddy don't tell them what we did don't tell them that we were playing with alabaster box. Don't tell your daddy we we buried that stuff. Don't you know what I'm saying? Now your daughter's is growing up practicing the craft, and you wonder why things going wrong in her life. Why you wonder why things are just falling apart? And you've been praying for your child. You, listen, you might be dealing with that damn devil woman. Somebody says, so is aromatherapy witchcraft. Aromatherapy is just smell goods. That's really all it is. It's a sham, but I wouldn't call it witchcraft. It's more of a scam than witchcraft. If you believe you can heal yourself by smelling aromas, that's on you. I mean, I believe it may have a an effect on people if it's mind over matter. I mean... It may have a placebo effect. If you believe smelling an aroma is healing your body, then hey, it may work. I wouldn't necessarily call it witchcraft. I would call it a scam, personally. But I'm also sure that they may use certain scents that are probably in lines with witchcraft probably certain concoctions they use certain oils they may be using so you got to be careful with all of that stuff yeah somebody said it they make witchcraft look soft and innocent this is a fact i'm just telling you what they gotta do it and when he came, she came she came out of it he says daughter the lord told me to tell you that if you go back uh you'll you'll, you'll come you'll come back in a box no no ram I promise I gave that up back to you. He says, I'm just telling you what the Lord told, told me to tell you. And that my father's last memory of his mother is him, is her getting in a car, a red Cadillac, because her boyfriend's name was Red. He would just drive through, take her away. And him begging her, please, mom, don't go, don't go. Don't worry about it. I'll be back. And two weeks later, they brought her home in a box. Look, the Lord God specifically says, do not turn to psychics, mediums to get help. That will make you... So that lady, her, her grandmother came up in a box because she kept playing with that witchcraft and she was warned time and time again. Some of y'all ladies out here who watching me right now who may be casting spells on me, you're going to end up in a box too. Thinking you can stop the truth. Unclean. I am the Lord your God in Leviticus 19 and 31. And as you can see, the servants that were being used by God gave clear warning to repent. And her grandmother would not. Look, praise God that Erica had a godfather that was a good example who could pray for the family. And it is a possibility that her dad, her own dad, might have lived longer. Had they known a little bit more about what the sin of witchcraft could do to a bloodline right you know <clears throat> the dad might have been into some things because you see a preacher healing people that don't necessarily mean he not into the craft he you know you know you never know what he was into too for him to go out so young or maybe you know it was just his time sometimes it's just your time you know what i'm saying i don't want to accuse her her pastor um granddad i believe or godfather or whoever the case is i don't want to accuse him of being some type of wizard but i'm just saying that you can't always judge it based on you see people getting healed or whatever the case is but all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory and he's given us all the time we need to repent well i'm gonna have to give us some pushback on that we we don't have all the time we need um, because, you know, this woman saying that the way most Christians hear that and perceive that is that they got forever to just pretty much do what they want to do. That, you know, grace will, will heal all things when now nah, we don't we don't have no time. We need to repent right now. 
We don't have all the time in the world. A hey, Trill, thanks for the uh, contribution, says, uh, warfare prayers are the only way to deal with witches. However, these warlocks need their blocks knocked off. I mean, I feel you on that. They they all need their blocks knocked off to be to be a hundred percent with you. Witches, warlocks, wizards, they all need their blocks knocked off. If we was living according to our law, they would be burnt at the stake. Like that's a real serious infraction, witchcraft. And you got you got these elder women who's supposed to be teaching these young women to be chase keepers at home to be modest to be obedient to their husbands it's supposed to be teaching them to be wise but really a lot of these older women are actually teaching these young women the arts too they teaching them the craft there's some women out here who are witches just based on how much makeup they wearing do you hear me just based on how much makeup they wearing why how how are they witches based on makeup new breed they're manipulating you woman can hey listen a woman can be 65 to 70 years old now and look 40 look 30 look 35 all based on witchcraft it's deception when you don't know what you looking at when you deal with a woman and then you wake up next to her and it's a totally different person that you then you didn't laid up with. You don't think that's witchcraft? That woman deceived you. She tricked you. All these things was taught by the fallen angels, by the archons. So in our prayers, let's not only repent for our sins, but the sins of our forefathers. Although God visits. And you know, witchcraft is one of those things that can be in the generations. And, and I want all you brothers and sisters who've been chosen to understand that you can break these generational curses because you may have been raised in these things because your, your mo mother, your auntie, your sisters, whoever, whoever it is, is into these things. You don't have, you can be the exception of the rule. You can change. Ain't no good gonna come of that. Only, only disease, death, pain, heartache, shame, and guilt is gonna come out of playing with that witchcraft stuff. Straight up. Yeah, somebody said, uh, I think it's crazy with all the makeup. Like, what the F? Right. I've seen some of these makeup tutorials, and it'll be a woman, it'll be so crazy how she looked before. And then the after picture, you like, yo, this is wrong on so many levels, bro. This is so wrong, bro. Somebody said uh, makeup is witchcraft. Long fake eyelashes and eyebrows, long fingernails are a sign of a witch. And women have been turned into demons. Long blonde fake horse hair with different colors is clown like. Right. I agree. I agree. But let me let you in on something, brother. A lot of women these days don't care what real men actually desire. They don't care. They don't care. They're not doing it for us. They're doing it to compete with each other. I was watching this one video. It was a guy running around asking all the women, do you believe that men are attracted to BBLs? And every lady was like, of course, yes. Every woman said, yeah, men are attracted to women with BBLs. The same gentleman went around the mall asking fellas, hey, fellas, are you attracted to women with BBLs? Every man said, no, they like natural. Nah, I like natural. Nope, every single brother. You think those women give a damn? Hell no, they don't go do this for themselves. They do it to appease their idols, their gods. They do it to appease themselves and to compete with each other. And this is why a lot of these women, they get used and abused and men are not really staying with them because they're not concerned with what men want anyway. They're not concerned. 
Trill says, I got witches and warlocks in my bloodline. They abhor those chosen to break generational curses. Absolutely. A lot of you chosen ones, you got to be really careful because you got witches and warlocks in your family who are aiming to destroy you. You wonder why some of you all have had it so difficult with some of your family. Because your life was like a whirlwind prophesy. And the fact that you there to break generational curses in the spirit realm, all of these witches who are going to their spirit guides and their psychics, they're learning like, okay, this person in your family can see. And they are literally designated and birthed to break the family generational curses. That's challenging their lifestyle. That's destroying their perception. That's that is challenging their existence. They can't have that. You wonder why a little boy or little girl in the family been getting mean mugs by the whole family because that family was in the underbelly of the occult the entire time. Even some of them who up in these churches in the occult. And that you can see all kind of you've had all these challenges in your life because you may have had people doing root work on you since you was a child. Wonder why they loathed you so much. Wonder why they, they looked at you as you were so undesirable. Why you didn't feel the same love or the same energy from them because they was already, listen, the whole family was already rooted in sorcery. It was a malignant root in your family at some point that an ancestor brought in and you were born to get it out. They don't like that. Yeah, you got you here to bind all of that darkness. I'm telling you. You ladies got to be careful out here, man, because there's a lot of witches who are beautiful. They're soft spoken. They know how to really approach you ladies. And you thinking, oh, man, I met a I met a friend at the gym. You know, I met this person. I, you know, I met this homegirl at the grocery store. Hey, I was at I was at the playground with the kids, honey, and hey, I met this, this cool friend. She was sitting there and she was reading some book and she was telling me about chakras. That's how it go. You lady, listen, this is why you ladies need brothers who have some type of discernment in your life. And I'm not just talking about a husband. Like the actress from Living Single was saying, she had strong men in her family. If you ladies, you, got, you ladies got to gravitate towards a man in your family who have some spiritual foresight, who have some type of um, some type of discernment out here. Gravitate towards that man because he could protect you from all the witches out there. Yeah, it's a lot of indirect recruitment. A lot of women deal with this all the time, y'all. They deal with it all the time. And shout out to all the moderators in the building. Y'all make sure when y'all see somebody with a wrench, um, y'all check on their platforms. Because like I said before, what I'm going to be doing is giving wrenches to people who I can verify as having some type of social media presence. That way we can avoid that way we can avoid all the um, all the trolls, scoffers, agents and perps. So if you see somebody with a wrench on my channel. Nine times out of 10, they have some type of social media presence and you can go see what type of material they got going on. That's, the, you know, and also I'll share their their content time from time. And that's my way of giving back to my moderators who help to facilitate the channel and, and to help the moderate. All right. And if they don't have a social media presence, that means I met them in person. All right. For the record, they don't have a if you if you click on their um on their profile and you go check them out and they don't have a platform, that means I met them. I know they're real. All right. That's how I do things over here. But I'm telling you, man, you ladies, y'all gotta be especially careful, man. You gotta be especially careful. Because you may let the wrong woman in your house to have dinner, maybe a co-worker. And she didn't grab something out of your house. And you like, hey, you know, why Why is my piece of jewelry missing? Why is that missing? You don't know what people are into. This is why you got to ask questions. 
all of a sudden your man is is getting in a car accident your man losing his gig he all of a sudden going through things why because you let that witch up in there and he might not have been all the way on his p's and q's either i'm telling you somebody said why do you think somebody said why do you think they fought to keep white jesus painting in the baptist church black eastern stars i'm not sure what you mean by that but yeah some some of you all got eastern stars in your family those are witches some of you got a lot of a, a lot of masons and and all of that it's all it's all witchcraft man but this is real talk there's a whole recruitment process that goes on some of these you know some people are hiding amongst the christian church you know some some of these older women have grown resentful because their relationships fail or they never settled down they never had children they never done what they needed to do and they have turned to african spiritualism so now they're teaching the youth and they got a whole literally they have a whole online covens they taking over websites they're having meetings about certain brothers they got pictures of you brothers and this is a war going on there's a war a spiritual war going on these witches gotta be stopped man you know i make this comment i mean i make this content so we can be a bit more aware of what's going on um if you're an individual who considers yourself to be enlightened um educated and you really take great value in this particular content then do me a favor and share the material because we would like to have others be able to see what's being produced over here and we can wake more people up um, if there's something out there that really helped you you know what i'm saying and i got i got more material coming and i want you to you know check my channel periodically daily most of the time i upload a live stream every day so you can look for me every day if you don't see me that day earlier more than likely i'm coming around later on um because that's just what it is. I'm very consistent over here. And um, that's just how it is. So, hey, man, thank each and every one of y'all. It's been a, a phenomenal broadcast. We didn't have too many people showing out, which is great because we got everybody moderating, doing a fantastic job. Shout out to all the new moderators. Shout out. Thank, thank y'all for holding it down. And I want to say as well, over here on the channel, people are allowed to disagree. Um, that's one thing I want to put out there. People are allowed to have disagreements long as they're speaking um, respectfully with their disagreement. Um, long as there's no condescending, smug, um, disrespectful type of commentary. You know, allow people to definitely um, share their insight. And uh, Bella Ring says, thanks for the wrench. Awesome broadcast. Absolutely, you're welcome. And y'all check Bella Rings out. She's a woman who, you know, is married. And she makes content predominantly geared towards teaching, you know, ladies how to be wives. And that is needed. So when it comes to how I'm giving out my wrenches, I'm being very strategic with who gets them. Um, and that's just what it is. Um, you know, Broken Matrix got a wrench. He talks a lot about targeted individuals and so forth. Check his material out. And, you know, there's a few others that got wrenches. Uh, God God Chose Me. He has a, a nice channel as well. He has a channel that he's he's speaking truth. He's giving the word of Yah, young brother. So it's just different people. Uh, Rollo, Floridian Rollo, he has a wrench. Another brother in truth, a traveling brother. Uh, Floyd D and Rollo. So, you know, check these people out. You know, they have wrenches for a reason. Uh, but thank each and every one of y'all. Listen, I want y'all to, to be safe out there. Thank y'all. Y'all have a blessed one. Shalom and peace.